of testimony in a marathon day of closing arguments today. A group of 12 jurors are expected to start deliberations to determine the fate of former President Trump in his landmark hush money trial. Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman is outside of the courthouse in lower Manhattan and she's got the very latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Charlene. It is all calm and quiet outside of the courthouse now, but it was a long and busy day inside yesterday, all to make sure that jury deliberations could begin today to start that work towards coming to a verdict in the criminal trial against former President Donald Trump. The jury was asked to stay late yesterday, and, and indeed they did until about 8 p.m. last night to listen to the marathon day of closing arguments presented before them. Judge Juan Rashan said multiple times he would cut it off if it looked like he was losing the jury but they did mostly stay alert throughout the day. Those 12 New Yorkers now will have the option of convicting Trump on all counts, acquitting him of all counts, or delivering a mixed verdict in which he is found guilty of some charges but not others. Another option, though, a hung jury and possibly a mistrial. So here's what they have to consider today. Yesterday, Trump's lawyer spent his time concluding that the former president's actions were not crimes but rather business as, is, as it is commonly practiced and attacked the credibility of their key witness, Michael Cohen. Then in a five hour close, the prosecution summarized evidence they show says uh, Trump tried to hoodwink voters in the 2016 presidential election by participating in this hush money scheme meant to stifle stories uh, he allegedly believed would harm him in the election. Now attempting to assuage concerns over Cohen, saying the case is not about him, rather quote, he's like a tour guide through the physical evidence, but those documents don't lie and they don't forget. So that is what uh, just part of what we heard. Of course, it was a very long day, but that's all the, the jury will have to consider once they begin their deliberations. But what comes first will be around 10 a.m. today. Uh, Judge Mershon will uh, deliver instructions to the jury. That'll take about an hour, and then the deliberations will begin. We're